right guys, so for those who don't know me, my name's Justin Tierney and I was fortunate enough to be chosen to come out here to Tavarmene Zoological Station. It's about two hours west of Helsinki and as you can see it's, it's, it's quite incredible. So the project I've been tasked to was the phytoplankton uh, competition along salinity gradients and that project has come to light because of the fact of climate change. So climate change has increased rain events here in the Baltic Sea and we're becoming, we're noticing a more fresh water environment for these phytoplankton to live in. So our research is looking at how these phytoplankton communities are going to compete against each other, which ones will thrive, which ones are vulnerable, which ones are more resilient. So the idea of this project is to try to create a model that we can implement globally that will give us an idea to how different phytoplankton react to different stresses. As you can imagine, this is a pretty large task and there's a lot of variability within species and between species. And so a lot of our work here is looking at trying to identify those uh, inter and intra specific uh, sort of trait variabilities and, and plasticity. So a lot of my day to day work actually involves a lot of fluorescence, flow cytometry and nutrient sampling gives us an idea as to how certain strains behave under different salinity conditions. Uh, I've been able to join a fair few teams and one of the teams is with Matthias. He's looking at trying to be able to quantify point and non-point sources of eutrophication in the archipelago. And so he does this by using a new state-of-the-art flow-through system that enables him to keep the boat at a constant 20 knots while, he's so while, while he collects uh, well, why the boat collects uh, these different samples. So he has a sonde attached to the flow through system and as he drives the boat, uh, the water is then analyzed uh, for its water chemistry. And he also has attached to the boat uh, a device that measures photosynthetically active radiation, uh, humidity, temperature, and a bunch of different parameters. The rest of this video, I've just pieced together a short clip from each of the other tasks. Uh, so please enjoy.